What's up, Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I have part four of my 2022 pin haul collection and review. I'm so excited to share these with you. If you missed part one, two, and three, I have a lot of pro tips in those videos about pin collecting as well as a review and a bunch of different makers that aren't included in this video. So definitely check those videos out as well. I have provided an entire playlist of all of these episodes so you can easily access them and watch them one after the other. If you really want some like Sailor Moon aesthetics in the background while you're cleaning or something, today, then turn on my videos in the background and listen to me chat about pins for a while because these are very long videos, but I hope that you enjoy them. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe down below. I love doing reviews of Sailor Moon merchandise. I also love supporting other small businesses, and this is a part of an overarching series of videos that I do on my channel called Artist Alley. It's something that I started way back in the beginning of my channel, and it's something that I've continued to do because I love supporting other small businesses. Just like myself, I'm a content creator full-time and this is my small business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's creators. So up on my table right now, I have a couple of different creators of pins, enamel pins. I have collected several from these couple of creators. So this is going to take me a while to get through each of them, but they have so many beautiful pieces that I just couldn't help myself but support them. So the first one I wanted to share with you is Moon Rabbit Pins. You will see a lot of their backing cards up here because I haven't taken those out of the wrappers just yet. But let's go ahead and get started with them. Moon Rabbit Pins makes their pins very accessible. Many of these are limited release, which means that you will find them again through their website. However, if they aren't that popular, they may just be released once or twice. This was a pretty popular pin. It sold out very quickly and it's one of my favorites of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion together. They look really stunning. I love the background on here. I love the detail work and I love the glitter. All of the effects on the hair, they just look absolutely gorgeous. The sandblasted cape. It's just a beautiful pin all around and it's quite large and quite heavy. This one is also a favorite. I love the pastel colors and the rose gold use of the metal on here. This is a one layer pin. It's a little dusty, sorry y'all, but I just love how Princess Serenity looks in this pin. She's beautiful. This one had a matching variant of each of the Sailor Guardians in their school uniforms as opposed to their Fuku. So I'm still looking for a decent price aftermarket on the school uniform version because I missed the sale for that one. But for now, I'm very happy that I have the Sailor Guardian uniform version. They look so cute. I love that Makoto is sticking out her tongue. It's so adorable. And then of course you have Rei and Minako hugging on Sailor Moon. It's just, I love it. It's so cute. It's such a great group pin of the five inner Sailor Guardians. This was one of Moon Rabbit pins, early, early pins. And it was hard for me to find, but I was able to find somebody selling this one a few months ago. So I, I decided to purchase it. So I did pay a little bit more than the normal retail cost, but still a pretty good price. This is a beautiful eternal Sailor Moon pin. It's very simplistic, only one layer. It's not a pin on pin, but totally gorgeous. Moon Rabbit Pins has also been supplying us with some adorable filler pins. So I do have a few here. Here's the Moon Rabbit Pins logo. And then I also have a couple of Sailor Moon's pieces like a moon stick and then there's a rabbit on the moon. I do have a couple of duplicate filler pins just for like Eda bags. This one features Sailor Mars and her icons. And then we have one of Sailor Venus and her icons. I hope that Moon Rabbit Pins does fillers for each of the Sailor Guardians because they're so cute and it's hard to find like quality fillers. They're so tiny, but they look amazing when you put them on a board. And this is the Sailor Moon slash Cats filler pins. We have the Moonstick, Luna P, Luna and Artemis. We have the Cosmic Heart Brooch. We have the Transformation Brooch. We have the Crisis Moon Compact over here, a rabbit on the moon. And then of course we have the little music box charm. These are so pretty. Getting this pin during drop was like a bloodbath. Like everybody wanted this pin. I'm so happy that I had Drop Buddies helping me get this pin because I would not have been able to get it on my own. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful pin of Sailor Moon. I love that she chose pink instead of red for the boots and her bow. I thought it looked so cool with the different colors in this aesthetic. And it's stained glass, really beautiful. Love the quality of this pin. I love the little charms that hang down off of it and I'm just so pleased with it. This is one of my favorites. This one is going to be like the centerpiece of my Sailor Saturn board. It's beautiful. This Sailor Saturn pin is gorgeous. Princess Hotaru, Princess Saturn. She has her planetary symbol on her forehead. There's tons of glitter going on in her dress. There's glitter in the background. Love the effects. And I love her use of the crescent moon behind her to show the phases of the moon. You also have Sailor Saturn's crystal right up at the top. I can't wait to see the rest of this series because I know they're they're all going to look amazing. I got a lot from Moon Rabbit pins. Let's see. This one is cute. This is the modern Usagi pin. It features a little mini filler pin of Luna, which can sit right next to her. And then we have Usagi as a modern, modernized version of herself. So she's drinking some boba, and then she has a little cell phone in her hand. I believe it's an iPhone, might be a Samsung. <laughs> it's most likely an iPhone. <laughs> this is also going to be a really, really adorable series. Here we have another amazing Sailor Moon pin by Moon Rabbit Pins. It's kind of hard to tell, but she's throwing her tiara. So it's like a first season. She does that attack a ton in the first season. So she's she's throwing her tiara. And I love that it's an action sequence. It's really cool, very unique. And I love that there is some depth to this pin. This was another one that I had to find secondhand. It was sold out by the time I discovered Moon Rabbit pins, but I was able to find it for a good price. So I was able to get my hands on it and I actually ended up trading for one too. So I do have one of these for trade in my own personal collection pile. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and looks like such a badass. This is another like battle angel type of pin with her sword and I'm totally digging it. One of the first pins that I saw Moon Rabbit pins create and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for the in hands to happen was this beautiful Usagi pin, Usagi Skino. She's got rabbits around her, totally makes sense given her name. We have a beautiful full moon behind her, tons of effects in her dress. I just love it and her face is so beautiful. She also came with a couple of fillers. So we have more filler bunnies. I love the little bunnies. I think they're adorable and I wanna collect all the bunnies, all little bunny fillers. I think they're so cute. If you've seen my previous videos about enamel pins, you know that I am obsessed with anything that has the Tokyo Tower behind them. And these have Tokyo Tower behind them, so I had to have them. <laughs> this is two variants of the same pin. So it's the same art on each of them, but the background is different. And the colorization in the background is a little bit different too. So you have the sunset and the nighttime versions. Both of them feature really cool effects and just gorgeous detailing overall. I love this frame size too. These are really, really easy to fit into like Eda bags. Now, if you're a daughter or a son watching this video and your parent, your mother is a big fan of Sailor Moon, what a perfect gift. Wouldn't this be cute to give to a mother for Mother's Day? I love these. They are so precious, so sweet. And I just love that it's multiple generations of the Moon Kingdom family. So of course we have Neo Queen Serenity and Small Lady Serenity over here. And on the other side, we have Queen Serenity and Princess Serenity on the other side. So it's Neo Queen Serenity as a little child. I love it, just adorable. These three are from the same series. So we have a Venus Nouveau, we also have a Mars Nouveau, and a Moon Nouveau. They feature similar backgrounds, but each one is slightly different in the colors and the aesthetics. Moon Rabbit Pins is doing more in this series, so I feel like each one is going to be gorgeous. Oh, I almost forgot this other Moon Rabbit Pins pin. I also had to find this one secondhand because I missed the original pre-sale. I just didn't know about Moon Rabbit Pins when it was available, but now I do, so I can buy all her pins. This is a beautiful pin of Luna and Artemis, and it's my favorite one of human Luna with human Artemis. Last but not least from Moon Rabbit Pins, I have a series of chibis. And I love all of these chibis, they're so cute. We have little attack moon and a little attack 
Mars. There will be more in this series as well. We've seen the art, but these, the other ones haven't sold yet. So I have Mars and Moon. Couldn't decide between the pop or just the simple one layer topper pin. So I ended up getting both. Still haven't decided. I think I'll have to put these on a display with the other Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars pins to really get an idea of which one looks best. Sometimes I will buy multiple variants and then if I'm not necessarily loving one variant over another, or if I get a topper and a pop to figure out which one I like best, I'll sell or trade the other one. And usually I do like drop pricing or whatever the current like market value is. And I will most likely just sell them for drop price so I can get my money back. So if you're ever interested in one of these where I have multiple variants, chances are I will sell one of those variants and keep the one that I like most. Keep an eye out for folks that are trading or selling old pens that they no longer want to keep in their collection because people's personal preferences change all the time when it comes to pens. Okay, the last ones from Moon Rabbit Pins are this series of chibis. We have more chibis. I love them. So here we have Princess Jupiter. I have a Princess Mars. Each of these, I feel like the design and the quality is looking really good. Sailor Venus. Here's Sailor Mercury. Sailor Chibi Moon, Chibi Usa. And we have Usagi as Princess Serenity with white hair and blonde hair. So I got both variants. Moving on, I have another creator to share with you today. This one is Pastel Shooting Star. Pastel Shooting Star was one of the first makers that I found in 2022, and I've been supporting her small business ever since. I love her creations. I think they're so cute, and a lot of them are very unique. Let's start with this one. This is the Schoolgirl Usagi one that's got a cat hair on it. As usual, welcome to my world. This one is adorable. I love the background. It's a heavy pin. It's very thick, really beautiful, very vibrant very stunning work. The next four that I'm going to show you are all from a series that Pastel Shooting Star did in collaboration with Pins by Iris. So some of these were sold on Pins by Iris's page. Some of them were sold on Pastel Shooting Star's page. So here's a topper of one of them. This is a Transformation Moon. It's gorgeous. I love it. I also have the pop version of this one. I decided to keep both of these. I just, I couldn't choose. I love them. They're so pretty. Then we have Sailor Moon from the same series. This beautiful one of Princess Serenity. This is one of my personal favorites from this series is Usagi with the city in the background. And the city is the, in this really beautiful like lavender, pinkish, purplish color, which I appreciate. That's, that's my favorite color aesthetic, so I love it. These are not the last ones from Pastel Shooting Star, but I wanted to include these as well. These are three pins from Pastel Shooting Star's page. Patreon. So these were available over the course of 2022. I have three different ones. They are from the same series, hence why they all look very similar to each other. We have Sailor Jupiter, Princess Serenity, and Sailor Mercury. These were also available as toppers too. I'm going to go grab some more pins. <gasps> Moving on, I do have some more pins made by Pastel Shooting Star. They have this huge series going on, which is called the Summertime Series, and I absolutely love it. So I have collected every single one in this Summertime Series. Luckily, I caught on to the series pretty early into it, so I've bought most of these straight from Pastel Shooting Star. A few of them I did have to buy secondhand or I traded for them. So I'll go ahead and start with the pop and topper of Usagi. She was easily the hardest one to find. No surprise because she was the first one in the series. So she's the one that everybody missed, <laughs> including myself. So I had to look really hard to find somebody who was reselling this one and I traded for this one and they look so, so cute. Mercury, of course, was next. This is the Sailor Mercury one. I absolutely love her dress. It's so cute. And she's carrying a book, of course. Then we have Sailor Mars. So here's the Summertime Ray or Summertime Mars. I love that she's carrying around this cute little shopping bag and you'll you'll notice that each of them has some kind of little tag or emblem for their planetary symbol on them somewhere. So she has her little Sailor Mars transformation pen hanging from the strap on her shopping bag. Where's Sailor Jupiter? There's Jupiter. Where's my pop? There it is. Sailor Jupiter. We have her holding some ice cream. She of course has her transformation pen as a charm on her purse. She also has her planetary symbol on her purse as well. And her outfit is so cute. It's very reminiscent of 
like something I would have worn in the early 2000s. It's very cute. Sailor Venus is next. She has this really cute heart-shaped purse with Artemis's face on it. And she, of course, is drinking what looks like a Frappuccino. Definitely makes sense for the character. I love how her hair is done up in its cute little bandana that's tied in a bow. Cute overall, just adorable. Next, we have Uranus and Neptune. And of course, with Uranus and Neptune, we also have their transformation wands hanging from different things that they're carrying. So she has a backpack. Totally makes sense. And it looks like she's sharing a soda with somebody. So she's actually kind of a combo with Sailor Neptune. So here's Sailor Neptune looking at and vice versa. Neptune has this really cute box of Pocky that she's holding in her hand. This looks just like the single topper version as well. Here we have Sailor Pluto as the topper and the pop pin for the summertime series. You can tell that each of them has a very similar background to the previous one. So they will all match really well when put all together onto the same board. After her, of course, we have Sailor Saturn. I love that Sailor Saturn's outfit is kind of sandblasted. So it looks like it's translucent or transparent, especially on the neckline, the stomach line, and then on her sleeves. You get this really cool effect and I love her outfit. I thought it was perfect for this little gothic girl. We have Black Lady looking so sassy. I love her outfit. I think it's so cute. I would never wear that but she can pull it off in Luna P as a purse like how perfect is that also I just noticed that she has Sailor Moon's wand in her pocket did she steal it that's so funny here we have an adult version of Chibiusa or small lady serenity she has very very long hair it's really pretty and bushy and thick I just love it I love the little bows for her pigtails and I love her dress now there were two versions of this dress there was a darker version and a lighter version I ended up getting the darker version which is the more limited edition version I think it's prettier I like the pop of the strawberries on the dark version of the dress and I'm super happy that I was able to get it. It was a surprise drop on Pastel's website. So you can kind of tell between the topper and the pop pin that there is a difference in the color. Next we have Luna. Here's Luna with her full head of hair. She has some cute little stars, charms hanging out of her hair and I love her dress. I love that it looks kind of like a tarot card or a celestial. It's really cute and very much makes sense for this character again. And last for the summertime series is my newest addition. This one is either Princess Serenity or Neo Queen Serenity. I think she looks stunning as well. I love the white hair. I think she's beautiful. The detailing on this dress makes her look like a sweet Southern belle. Like the lace printing is gorgeous and she's holding a lemonade or an Arnold Palmer. Like how cute is that? I think she's my favorite so far of this group, mainly because I'm a Southern girl too. So I really love this aesthetic. I got a cute pop pin as a freebie in one of my orders from Pastel Shooting Stars. So cute. Another series she's working on currently is this Rainy Day series. The first one in the set is Chibiusa and she's got this really cute frog umbrella behind her. It's a very heavy pin. This was one of my first pins of this size. So I have kind of a special connection to it because it's it's so big and I didn't realize that you could do something this large in a pin, so I love it. And the second one in this collection is Rainy Day Usagi. So I have the topper pin, which I got as a freebie in a buy one, get one order sale. And I also have the pop, which I had pre-ordered and she's stunning. I love the work done on her umbrella to make it look like it's wet and like there's rainwater dripping down on it. Very cute. She looks so adorable. I can't wait to see Mercury finished in this collection because Mercury is going to have some really cool screen printing on her dress and the umbrella. It's going to look awesome. These two are the only two that I've collected from this series. The art is kind of out of my normal range, but I love what it looks like on these two. So this is the Starlight Skies series. I have Chibiusa and I have Sailor Moon. You can definitely tell that they have a very, very unique art style to them. They're also kind of fragile, I noticed, because this full thing is stained glass and it's kind of thin. I'm very careful with these two because I don't want the stained glass to break. Next, we have this Tarot series, which is really cool. I have all of the ones that they've come out with so far for this Tarot series. Each of them has a different background and a different title for 
for the tarot cards. So this one is the devil, totally makes sense for the character. I also have the star, justice, the empress. I have the lovers with Neptune and Uranus. And the last one I have is the high priestess. And I actually have the topper pin for this one as well. I thought it was very pretty just on its own, but I also really like the background on the pot pin. I love that it's a shrine and she's in her shrine maiden outfit, which is perfect for this tarot card, the high priestess. So the last ones I have from Pastel Shooting Star are specifically for my Halloween collection, uh, which y'all know from the previous videos I've done on this channel. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. So I have these, this Halloween collection of witchy sailor characters. So I have Sailor Moon, witchy vibes only, adorable, so cute. I also have the vibrant version of this. So there's two different color variants for this one. I decided to get both of them because each of them has a really cute quality to them. Like I love that she has the orange and purple in her dress. I love that the background pops so much on this one. So I got both of them. I also got the witchy black lady pin and look at that little Luna P down at the bottom. The little pumpkin Luna P, so cute. This one is also just gorgeous. I love that her She's got a broomstick. It's so cute. All right, I have just a few more pins to show you in today's episode. Okay, let's go ahead and finish out today's video with just a couple more makers. First, I wanted to check out Pretty Geeky Pins, who you have seen on this channel before. Pretty Geeky Pins has sent me over some really cute pins in the past, so I wanted to support him as well, and I bought these pins. This is a very cute one of Tuxedo Mask and Usagi. It's adorable. I love it so much. The screen printing on their faces is so great. They look really, really good and lots of detail, lots of shadow effects and things like that. Really love this pin. I also snagged these two beautiful princess pins. Can't wait to see more from this series. First, we have, of course, Princess Serenity, and she looks just magnificent. She looks amazing. And we have Princess Sailor Venus or Princess Venus. I love that she has her sword in hand. Love that. And I love how big her hair is. And last for today's episode is My Pin Fairy. I have found so many cute pins from My Pin Fairy, so I wanted to share these with you as well. Most of these I have pre-ordered and they came in in pretty decent time. So this is the first one I've ordered from the Slumber Party series. Uh, they've also done some really cute other ones for the Slumber Party series, but the only one I really wanted was Sailor Moon. She looks so adorable. I love her PJs. I kind of want those PJs for myself. <laughs> and I love her cute little slippers. They're so adorable. This one is from the Blossomed series really dig in all the detail work that went into this pin. I love that there's some really pretty sandblasting going on in there. There's some glitter. It's just a very pretty pin overall. So this one features, of course, Chibiusa as an adult. And then y'all remember, I've mentioned it previously, how I love fall themed pins. This is definitely a fall themed pin where she's wearing a sweater and it has these thigh high socks on, very cute. And I love the background. I think these are chrysanthemums. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really like the color scheme in this beautiful piece. Last from my pin fairy, but my personal favorite series from them is this Metamorphosis series. So this came out as two original pins. I think, was it these that were the originals? I think these were the OGs, but there were two of them. There was like a darker version and a lighter version. And I like it for a couple of reasons. One, because transformation pins are some of my favorites. It kind of looks like she's floating in her own like personal pool. I know how weird that is, but I thought it looked like she was floating in a pool. It just looks really cool. So I wanted to grab these. And then they came out with a couple of new ones in this series. I believe these are the two new ones for the variants. So I ended up getting all four variants. So again, we have a darker one and a lighter one, but these have a swirl pearl and they have glitter on her leotard. I really like the Metamorphosis series from My Pen Fairy. It's one of my faves. Okay, so if I counted it correctly, I think that's a little under a hundred pins for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I will put all the links to the creators down below. If any of them wanted to remain anonymous, I will not be tagging or linking to them in this video. You will just see them on the table, but I won't be mentioning them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the rest of this series as well. I really appreciate your support and your subscriptions to my channel. It all helps since I am a small business myself as a content creator. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs. Jenny.